detailing. I've had a bunch of customers come in here lately with either smoke vehicles or a random smell in the car. Uh, even had puke smells, urine smells, all that nasty stuff. Uh, so just wanted to go over some of the ways that we can actually attack those smells. We do guarantee uh, smell removal for most vehicles. Some of them are going to be difficult. Uh, number one going to be, is going to be a cigar smell. For some reason those really stick in all the fabrics of the vehicle. So uh, we can treat those two ways. First is going to be chemically and then second is going to be an ozone treatment. Uh, ozone treatments are an additional charge. Uh, basically we do have to charge with time it'll be in the shop. However, an ozone generator, since it's a gas, it can get in all those little nooks and crannies that we can't physically clean. Uh, we can even turn on the AC vent, so this is going to circulate through a uh, in cabin air filter. If you do have any odors, I highly, highly recommend you replace the in cabin air filter before you actually bring it into us, just so that way we're not recirculating that smell. However, it can clean out some, some that are not very dirty. But uh, we will show you the process that we do on a F 150 here. Uh, customer's vehicle baby puked in the vehicle. And uh, this is going to be treating the car seat as well as the entire interior of the car. And uh, we'll show you step by step what we're actually doing for that vehicle. So first off, the vehicle does need to be cleaned. Uh, this vehicle's gone through an interior level two, which means it has been shampooed, steam cleaned, hot water extracted, among other things. But for all the fabric, soft surfaces, they've been thoroughly cleaned and the vehicle's been running for about 30, 45 minutes with the heat on uh, just to nuke all the moisture that's in those fabrics. If the fabric is wet, ozone treatment is not going to help those fabrics. It can't go through water or moisture or anything like that. So you can see here in the vehicle, all the floor mats are folded up. They're not laying flat. The reason for that is so that ozone gas can get to the, uh, the actual carpeting on the floor. Everything has been opened up. The uh, center console is open up. The glove box is opened up. And all of the floor mats are, all the hard floor mats like the weather techs are actually outside the vehicle. Lastly, I'm going to pull out all the seat belts and put a clamp on them. Um, so seat belts are a little tiny dirty. There's a lot of smells and odors that goes in with those, especially on a smoker vehicle. So we're gonna pull those out, put a clamp on them so it can actually treat those. And then we are ready for the ozone treatment. We just need to make sure that everything's nice and dry to the touch. Even the foam beneath it is dry. So I'm pressing my hand there. I'm not feeling any moisture coming up. So let's start the treatment. All right, guys, everything is deep clean. Everything is opened up. Uh, all the seat belts are pulled out. All the compartments are open so that that gas can do its work. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is seal off the vehicle. And the machine needs to actually be outside the vehicle. If you're putting the machine inside the vehicle, it's not getting fresh, uh, fresh oxygen that it can break down and make those uh, O3 particles. So we need, the or we need the machine outside the vehicle. So that way it can pump uh, fresh um, oxygen in the back, and fresh O3 out of it. And uh, we're gonna let this vehicle set for an hour. The reason we have the hose set up high is because those O3 molecules are heavier than air. So we want them as high as possible so that they're gonna descend down on the vehicle and clean top to bottom. So uh, that's why we don't want the machine set real low in the vehicle. But and we'll go ahead and set a timer for an hour and we will be all ready to go. I'll come back to you in an hour and we'll see how things smell. Hey guys, well a lot of people have asked me actually how O3 works and from my own research what I understand is after a heavy thunderstorm or lightning storm, if you ever notice that it just smells different outside, it just smells nice and clean, you know a big rain just came in, whatever the case. So basically as that lightning strike goes down through that atmosphere, it's going to split apart all these O2 oxygen molecules. And those little molecules are now single oxygen molecules. They're going to be trying to attach to different things to make something worthwhile. Um, one of those things is O3, which is ozone. 
Ozone can attract to different kinds of things. Number one is going to be odors. It has a really good property of sticking to something and actually neutralizing all the odors in there. So basically an ozone generator, all it does is suck in oxygen through the back. That's why you need it outside the vehicle where it can get fresh, uh, fresh oxygen. And secondly, it's got a little ceramic plate in there that when it's uh, energized, it tries to split apart all those oxygen atoms and make them into separate oxygen molecules or O3. Um, so by doing that, it's going to find all those odors that are in the vehicle. There's another reason that we don't use any scents on any of our vehicles, cherry, vanilla, new car smell, we don't use any of that. Ozone, whenever you introduce it to a car, it's going to attach itself to any odor, good or bad. So we don't want to put anything heavily scented because it's going to find that and not find the actual odor in the vehicle. Um, so by using all these processes, they're definitely not foolproof. Ozone has its limitations. It's not going to make the worst vehicle completely smell like a brand new car, but we can greatly, greatly improve that, especially if you're very sensitive to a lot of these odors, which most of my customers are. There is one huge um, side effect that can happen with ozone generation. You definitely want to make sure you're out of the space, whether it's a home, a room, a car, whatever. There's a reason our vehicles are parked outside with a little bench there holding the uh, generator because we don't want to be anywhere near that. Basically it's taking all the oxygen that we breathe and displacing that so it's a very oxygen low environment and that's what kills all this bacteria and stuff too but we just want to make sure that the vehicle is nice and aired out. The half-life for O3 is about 30 minutes. A full life meaning how long it takes to where it starts breaking down it's going to be about an hour. So we make sure all of our vehicles are aired out with the vehicle open, whether windows or doors, for at least an hour before we release it to the customer. Um, some complaints from uh, just research and stuff is it can, it can cause dry throats, um, just hoarseness in your throat just from breathing that in. So we want to make sure that it's completely dissipated before it actually gets back to you. But our hour's up. Let's go out there and take a look and see how it smells. Alright guys, our one hour is timed up here. We are going to open the doors, or actually I'm going to roll down the windows on this one, just let it air out for about an hour there. Um, that's going to let all those O3 molecules actually break down. They're just an unstable state, so they break down on their own. Um, so just by opening up the vehicle, letting it air out, it's going to be safe for the customer here in approximately one hour. And um, that is when they'll actually start smelling the car.